it's Elisa Todd. I'm a financial advisor bringing you your weekly money tips and welcome to my retirement series part two out of five where I'll be covering retirement accounts such as IRAs, 401k, SEP IRA, simple IRA, and a solo 401k. My last video was about IRA so if you haven't seen that yet go check that out. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. Today is all about 401ks. And in this video, I'll be answering the following questions that you may have regarding your 401k plan at work. How do I take advantage of free money? How much should I contribute? Should I have a traditional or a Roth 401k? And what do I do if I don't have a 401k at work? Let's start off with the basics. What exactly is a 401k? So 401k is an employer sponsored retirement savings account and for many people it's the first introduction that you have to investing and it can be a big portion of your retirement planning. Most 401k plans are generally made up of mutual funds including stocks, bonds, and money market instruments. I've done a video explaining some of those terms so I'll link that video down in the description box below for you to take a look at. 401k allows you to invest a portion of your paycheck on a pre-tax basis so it comes straight out of, out of your paycheck once you've signed up that means your contributions are automated many employers offer to match a portion of what you save this equates to free money that your employer is willing to contribute on your behalf just for participating for example if you have a three percent match at your company then as long as you're putting away three percent your employer will then match that three percent and put that into your 401k account Find out exactly what your company match is and put away that match at a minimum so that you don't miss out on any free money. And every time you get a raise, you can increase your contributions. Even a small increase can have a big effect long term because of compound interest. For 2019, you can put away a maximum of $18,000 a year into your 401k and there's an additional $6,000 a year that you can put away if you're over the age of 50, which then equals to a total of $25,000 that you can put into your 401k plan if you're over the age of 50. In a traditional 401k, your contributions are made on a pre-tax basis, which will reduce your taxable income by the amount that you've contributed. For example, if you earn $100,000 a year and you put away $19,000 into your traditional 401k, which is the maximum allowed for 2019, then your taxable income is reduced to $81,000. Because you're getting the tax deduction today, you will pay taxes on earnings at withdrawal. In a Roth 401k, your contributions are made on a post-tax basis. Because you've already paid taxes today and you don't get that tax deduction like you would in a traditional 401k, your qualified withdrawals come out on a tax-free basis. You generally want to avoid taking withdrawals from either type of 401k until you're the age of 59 and a half to avoid penalties and potential taxes. There are certain exceptions to this rule, so make sure that you're working with a financial advisor so that you can be educated on the different penalties and taxes that you might incur um, if you're considering taking the money out before you're 59 and a half. You also don't want to forget about the old 401k that you've had at a previous employer once you switch jobs. And I've done a video that shows you the four different options that you have um, with your four old 401k. So I'll put that in the link in the description box below. There's also a vesting schedule that your company can establish. And vesting is the time of uh, the amount of time that you need to be working at the company for you to have access to those matching funds. And this is put in place by companies to incentivize their employees to stay at the company uh, for as long as possible. And if you don't have a 401k available at work, there are a few other retirement plans such as an IRA with similar tax benefits while helping you save for retirement. So if you're one of those people that don't have 401k at work, send me a message. Let's set up a time to connect so I can show you the different types of investment accounts that you can, so you can still participate in retirement planning. And if you're a business owner watching this video and you don't have a 401k set up at work, and you'd like to know more about the details and some of the costs associated uh, for setting up a 401k at your company, our team would be more than happy to assist you and do an analysis for you. So that is my weekly money tip for you. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Next week, I'm going to be talking all about simple IRAs. So stay tuned and I'll see you next week.